Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Good Cards Gone Bad. We've been discussing some traditionally positive tarot cards, or at least cards that are often touted as being good cards or, or positive cards, and talking about some of the negative aspects of those types of cards. We've covered the Two of Cups and the Three of Cups, and today we are going to cover the Sun, which is traditionally thought of as a really good card. But it has a whole host of drawbacks to it if it's ill aspected or reversed. Um, I didn't mention this in previous videos, but a lot of um, my take on um, good cards and the negative aspects about them, as well as the bad cards and the redeeming qualities, are actually in my book, Tarot in Reverse. I forgot to mention that. Um, so Janet Boyer, Tear in Reverse, if you want to get a whole host of those. Uh, but the ones I do for the video is pretty much off the cuff. I haven't even looked inside the book for some of those. So um, you're getting some extra stuff here with the videos. And so let's go ahead and start with the sun. I'm going to start off with the Snowland deck because we packed a lot of symbols in this. Now, um, this isn't the actual card. The Snowland deck is at the printer still. This is just a photo of the card. If you want to get your own deck, it's snowlanddeck.com where you can find it from my main website, janetboyer.com. And this is our take on the sun. And you see a dancing, performing snowman. But we've packed a lot of symbols in this. Um, some of the negative aspects of this card, especially the way we've portrayed it for the Snowland deck, it can be stage fright, um, fear of public speaking. That can be overcome by joining a group like Toastmasters um, or a public speaking group or just getting in the practice of maybe doing videos like I'm doing and putting them on YouTube that might um, you know, help you overcome your stage fright. Um, it's also light shadow projection. Now let me explain that. When we as humans project our shadow onto people, it can be done in two different ways. There's the um, projection of negativity, and that's when we project our negative stuff on other people or scapegoat them or in, even in society. And it can have very little to do with the actual behavior of the person, but we're just projecting our own crap onto them. But then there's something called the light shadow meaning when we project our good stuff onto other people because we don't claim it for ourselves. And that can manifest in the form of uh, idolatry and hero worship and um, you know just thinking certain individuals, celebrities are just wonderful because we haven't um, claimed our own greatness. So um, the sun in, in a negative aspect can be that idol worship where we project um, our own brilliance onto someone else, you know, um, and set people up on pedestals. Um, another thing that the sun can represent, and we've tried to portray this, is sabotaging success. Of course, it could be sabotaging your own success, but it could also be the attempt to try to sabotage other people's success out of jealousy or what have you. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see a hand here holding a lighter and in the 70s that was really big at a concert to say hey, yeah man isn't this a great you know great concert and they would light their lighters but um we've embedded amongst the canisters of confetti a stick of dynamite i don't know if you've noticed that and notice that the light is real close to the dynamite now what would happen if that dynamite went off and so it's kind of symbolic of sabotaging success um Sometimes when we don't claim our own greatness, we can fall into envy and jealousy. And so we then we try to um, sabotage someone else's success um, myriad ways. Um, we could just try to discourage the person. We could um, you know, try to slander them. We could try to put them down, start negative campaigns, um, gossip. You know, like uh, the gossip you see with celebrity news, um, how they just run with the negativity and a star does one thing wrong or takes a, you know, there's a photo of them not looking their best and boy, they just run with it to try to put them down and say, oh, so-and-so's let themselves go or so-and-so's gained 15 pounds and another silly thing. So um, the sun negative, a negative aspect of the sun can be sabotaging success. Another thing could be um, everybody wants a piece of you. 
And that happens sometimes when you're in the limelight or you become famous or well-known in certain circles. Notice all these hands, people are trying to grab at you. Everybody wants a piece of you. And if you can't be there for everybody, um, they get offended or they think you're rude or antisocial or what have you. So that's another aspect of the sun. And that was from the Snowland deck. Now we're going to look at the vampire tarot. My husband Ron jokes and says, oh, this is you. Well, it used to be me. I used to be on medication that made me, it was caused phytosensitivity, light sensitivity, and I would feel really tired and sick um, with sun exposure, especially in the summer. And some medications can cause that light sensitivity, um, but I'm naturally sensitive to light anyway. I have to wear sunglasses even, um, even when it's overcast, the fall or the winter. Um, my eyes are light blue, and so they're very sensitive. So this can actually, kind of like the vampire trying to avoid the sun, can indicate um, light sensitivity, um, being on medication um, that makes you have an adverse reaction to light, um, to pay attention to, to those if, you know, your medication does say that, you know, to go out on the sun and, you know, um, not listen to that because it could cause sunstroke. Um, this can also indicate severe sunburn, um, excessive UV exposure, ultraviolet light. Um, it can also mean, you know, the need to protect yourself with UV, you know, sunblock or, or sunglasses. Um, I don't do health ratings, but this could indicate, um, because that's not my area of expertise and it is illegal for tarot readers to advise health issues if we're not qualified, um, but it can indicate skin cancer or the need to protect yourself from that, um, the need to look out for moles on the skin and see if there's been any changes to monitor if there's been any moles, um, increase in size, even on the scalp. Sometimes you have to really um, look on your scalp to see or the backside or areas that are normally not very visible. So you might want to keep an eye on that um, for another uh, drawback to the sun card. And, you know, being, be sensitive with the sun. Um, I mean, it could be also, you know, vitamin D deficiency where you actually need sun. So everything in balance. And I actually talk about that in Terror Reverse. I talk about vitamin D deficiency. I have a whole, in my book, Terror in Reverse, I have tons of keywords and phrases for reversals. And that's the upside down cards in a, in a tarot reading. And because it's the reversals, it's the kind of, not always the opposite, but some things that you don't really think about um, when it's upright. So if you um, are really interested in the dark side of the good cards or bad cards getting redeemed, I think you'll really like my book, Terror in Reverse. Um, the next card we're going to look at is from the Oracle Tarot by Lisa, Lucy Cavendish. This is an overexposure card. Um, if you're on social media, <laughs> you probably know these type of persons. Um, they're promo whores. They preen a lot. Um, there's a type of people on Facebook where um, constantly posting pictures of themselves and what they did and how great they are, they are and how great their life is and um, entirely self-involved. Um, you'd expect that from teenagers and 20-somethings, but it becomes decidedly unattractive when, let's say, it's a 50-year-old woman. <laughs> Um, so you know those types. So the sun is somebody who seems to be in love with themselves, totally self-referential. Um, it's always about them. You know, it's, it's um, never about issues or, or discussing ideas or, you know, it's just always about them. Um, it could be preening, you know, fuck you. Obsessed with appearance. Um, taken too far it could be plastic surgery and what have you. Um, but, you know, not, not accepting yourself as you are in your nakedness, you know, so to speak, you know, have, feeling like you need to improve yourself with um, cosmetic surgery or makeup or, or what have you, just n not being able to accept yourself the way you are. Um, as we said, it's about, uh, you know, the self-absorbed type, um, the obsessed with appearances, uh, you know, you could just see it. It's just all, all about me. The sun rises and sets on me. So uh, that's some other negative aspects of the sun card. Now, in the Rider Waite, it usually shows, you know, a kid riding um, a white horse with sunflowers in the back. And I didn't use the universal weight because a lot of their images, I just, 
from the Universal Weight Deck, I don't think tells much of a story. And, uh, you know, the kid on the horse, what does that say? It doesn't say much at all, except maybe perhaps negligent caregivers, I guess you could go that way. I tend to see the Six of Cups as negligent caregiver in the Universal Weight, because you see those two kids in the garden, and it looks like somebody's walking up the steps. Um, so leaving the kids alone, so to speak. Um, but those are three different takes on the sun. There was the Snowland Deck. Again, if you want yours, snowlanddeck.com. My husband and I made that. My husband um, painted all the images, and he just finished it. And then there was the um, Vampire Tarot from Los Garabeo, you know, the avoiding the sun, um, overexposure of sun, late sensitivity, and then, of course, from the Oracle Tarot, um, the preening, um, self-obsessed, promo horror type, you know, where it's all about me. So thank you for joining me um, with some of the good card, bad card um, videos. This time it was the sun card. Oh, well, look at that. Good, good cards and bad cards. And that was the sun. And so um, thank you for joining me, and we'll do another card next time. So next time the sun comes up reversed or ill-aspected, Ill you know, keep those interpretations in mind. See you next time. Bye-bye.